Well, everybody else has been covering this, so even though it's an old video, today we're going to be having a look at our old friend Hans Wormhat. If you're unfamiliar with him, I've done a few videos about him before, and I can give you a quick summary of his beliefs. Everything is fake. Like quite literally everything. Most exotic animals for sure, volcanoes, the globe earth, power plants, all Hollywood celebrities, pretty much anything that you don't encounter in your day-to-day -day life. Personally, I'm convinced that if Hans is real, he's some kind of weird hermit who refuses to believe colorful birds exist because none of them fly over his particular smelly city. Otherwise, he is most likely a Poe. You know, a fraud. A trickster. A Loki-esque figure, if you will. So, what does Hans have to say today? Well, he's got a list. A list of his top 10 hoax animals. Are you excited? Let's get into it. Hans Wormhat, this is a video on the top 10 fake animals. And so we'll start with 10, the anaconda. Have you guys ever been to the zoo or some other place with, with reptiles and they'll have these giant snakes that just sit there and they never move? It's just a fake snake and so many photos like this exist out there that are just ludicrous, obvious CGI. Who oh boy, what a start. So big snakes are fake because, in his words, they don't move at the zoo. Well, yeah they do, Hans. They're just, like all snakes, cold-blooded. They conserve their energy for the majority of the time, keeping it for quick bursts like when they strike out at prey. Observe. And whoa! Ping! She's loading up like I was talking about. Whoa! Advantage, but the eggs broke! As for the lady with the very big anaconda, it's just obvious CGI. You know that wonderful catch-all phrase these people use. Why exactly is it obvious CGI? What, because it's shiny? There's no argument being made there. One of the big memes with the fake animals is they like to make things larger than life. It's part of movie magic. Have you ever heard how when people meet celebrities in real life, they're like, wow, I had no idea they were so short. And it's because movie magic, using angles, using movie magic, anything, CGI these days, they love to make things larger than life, blow them out of proportion, and sell you a story. But here's my question, Hans. What exactly is the line for larger than life? Like, I would imagine Hans would agree that elephants exist. Why aren't they larger than life and therefore probably fake? There's no consistency to it. I have a feeling that Hans is going to move on from this image very quickly, so before he does, let's note that a snake that size isn't overly uncommon. Reticulated pythons, green anacondas, Burmese pythons, Indian rock pythons, all of these can reach over 20 feet long. And since he's relying on a single blurry image to prove that the animal is fake and never moves, let's quickly debunk that with a few clips. This is Medusa. She is a giant anaconda. The anaconda is one of those. Some of them are just mock-up fake fake reptiles. It's even a gag. You know how that's that's like one of the things that you can buy in a gag store, like fake fake snakes, a fake rubber snake. So they just make these huge ones and put it in an aquarium type setting in a zoo or something, take you into these dark cave area, and it just doesn't move. It just sits there because it's it's a rubber snake. Doesn't move. He's a pretty big snake. He's probably 12 feet. Ooh. Not at all. Guess what? We got a prehistoric pet. Look at this giant Burmese python. Not once. Five to seven foot larger than an anaconda. Come on, girl. And I tell you what, they like to move and they have a mind of their own. The, seriously, if you look up anaconda, this is what you get. You get a bunch of stuff that looks like this. They don't even try. They, it's funny. They go over the top. Well, yeah, if you just Google shit without sources, you'll get some ridiculous and obviously fake results. Does Hans think that everything presented on the internet is presented as if it's supposed to be real? Or does he think because one person stages one image one time, all images of that thing are staged? I don't understand, Hans. You're breaking my brain, man. There are so many anaconda things that look exactly like this. J-Lo. Anaconda was a big movie. So another big thing with their fake their fake animals is they love to make they love to make movies about it. Oh god, Anaconda was such a bad movie though. Literally every word of its opening frame is a lie. 
Mm. So it starts with an opening little crawl about anaconda. Oh my god, this is so dumb. Which is all false. Every bit of information in that thing, I'm like 99 percent sure is if, false. If this, if you were basing any of it, like the beginning of this, just sets precedent for the entire film. Yes, because nothing about the snake that they have on there it's is true. remotely no, true. Not even a little bit. They're like the most fearsome predator on the planet. Well, it's a big snake and they're cool, but like no, they're so fucking ruthless. They'll they'll puke up their prey just so they can eat it again. False. No, nope, they don't do that. I mean, they do regurgitate their food, but when snakes do that, it's not so they can like eat it again and watch it suffer again. Mostly so they can get away. From yeah, so they can run away from shit. <laughs> It's just the same way about how PSYOPs, they make them come to life by making a movie about it. Same thing with fake animals. Oh, make a movie about it. Anaconda was huge. This was one of the big movies back in the day. It was not huge. It was a $136 million box office on a $45 million budget. It was a moderately successful and completely forgettable summer blockbuster. What's your point? J-Lo is the anaconda. Do you know, want to know what the anaconda is? It's right here. That's the anaconda. This beast. J-Lo's anaconda. I... What? Are you sure? Are you sure it isn't John Voight being a fucking weirdo as he was in that movie? Uh, John Voight. Holy shit. Who, God. Uh, John Voight's incredible. And he, he, I say Ice Cube was my favorite part of the movie. That's just because it's so obvious that the best part of this movie is John Voight being an insane person. Yes. Uh... What? <laughs> Stationary, complete, just staring at her. And she doesn't re- she's like... <clears throat> I like the little hint of transvestigation into Jennifer Lopez. That was amusing. Oh look, her pants folded weird. She obviously has a dick. Only people like Han spend this much time fixating on the idea of chicks with dicks. Okay, nine. Nine on the list. I chose the shoe bill, because this came out of nowhere. It's just a CGI creation. Do you guys remember when the shoe bill first appeared on the scene? People in the comments would say that doesn't look real. It looks like CGI. That doesn't look like a real animal. First came on the scene? As in ancient Egypt? No, I don't remember that, Hans. I wasn't alive. The shoe bill was known to ancient Egypt, but wasn't classified until the 19th century when skins and live specimens were brought to Europe in the 1850s. I assume what he means by came on the scene is when a few viral videos of shoe bills spread knowledge of them wider than it previously had been, gaining a new audience aside from the niche of ornithologists and people who live in South Sudan and Zambia. What Hans fails to realize is that there's only 5 to 8,000 shoe bill storks in existence, and with that presence being largely restricted to East African swamps. So, of course, not many people knew about them until meme culture discovered them. And I think some of them are puppets. Puppetry is a huge part of this fake animal thing, and you can go research fake animal puppets. Uh, the Aflac duck is just a duck puppet, and they touch it up with CGI. There's there's YouTube videos of uh, Komodo dragon puppets. Yeah, there. I don't talk about that in this video, but there's a lot of puppetry involved. So this one's gonna be really easy. Can puppets fucking fly, Hans? These massive wings are great for soaring, and because of their large size, they flap their wings much slower than most other species of bird, only flapping them about 150 times a minute. He's frying, he's frying, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Number eight, I wanted to give something historical, the dodo bird. This didn't just start happening, these fake animals. They fake everything. They lie about everything. Who, Hans? All of the Dutch East India Company? This isn't an animal that only a few people encountered. They were literally hunted to extinction by hundreds, if not thousands, of people. I don't know why animals are this... It's this sacred cow topic. And for me, it's a huge... It's a huge indication of if you're dealing with a gatekeeper or not, if they're willing to talk on this subject, the fake animal thing. I don't know why it's such a heavily gatekept topic, because to me it's similar to the outer space stuff, outer space lies, but in that they're trying to sell you, sell you stuff to take you away from God. I'll get to that in the end. 
Oh, shut up. Who's gatekeeping this? What are you talking about? Do you mean gatekeeping as in criticizing your incredibly flimsy statements? Sorry, Hans, that dog won't bark. Anyway, I'll speak on fake animals. Here's a short list. Sasquatch, the Loch Ness Monster, Drop Bears, Dragons, Krakens, Chupacabra, the Mongolian Death Worm, the Jersey Devil, the Mothman, and let us not forget the best one, the Ningen. Look at that little guy. So here is number seven. Giant anteaters are definitely a hoax. A winning entry from the Wildlife Photograph of the Year competition has been disqualified after it was discovered the photo was of a stuffed animal. What do you know? A photograph of a taxidermy anteaters. All great anteaters like this, they're taxidermy or suits that actors can go in. <laughs> suits? What? What are you talking about, dude? What human being has these proportions? What kind of warped spine do you have, Hans? A human can fit in this suit. Look at that. It's like a Cirque du Soleil fake animal. It's an actor. Look at this amazing shot. Five scientists all concluded the anteater was too similar to a taxidermy specimen. Notice how they love to, their experts are the most amazing, super smart. They had five experts that could look at this and, and determine, no, that's too similar to a taxidermy version. What? <laughs> I think they just realized that this was like over the top. Okay, this is over the top, obvious Photoshop. We can't, we're gonna... I'm pretty sure what they mean is that there is likely a known taxidermy giant anteater in a specific pose, and the experts determined that this specific specimen was the one used in the photo. Not like Hans would be able to tell us anything about any image. He's shown time and time again that his photography knowledge is roughly zero. Okay, so number six on the list. Do you see where this is going? Rope climbing robots. Sloths are not real animals. They're animatronics. And people like David Attenborough are big phonies. They're actors. And the reason that they're... They're so acclaimed for their acting skills is because their ability to make it seem like they're taking it so serious. Hans is just like making things up now. David Attenborough is acclaimed for his acting? Says who? Anyway, notice how he likes to pick animals that are slow moving and restricted to small regions of the world? I wonder why that is. Their ability to sit in front of an animatronic and sell it like it's a real living breathing animal. That's why these these people get so so revered and knighted and because they're big phony deceivers. Slaws are a big one. I mean, just look, that's CGI. Because I said so. Because you can just tell. That's not how that shit works, Hans. It's so tiresome. In the final episode of my next level review, I correctly predicted that a manipulated video of the ISS was in fact manipulated, and I used simple context clues and knowledge of how special effects work to figure this out. First, I noted that the solar panels were visibly moving. I very quickly realized that this part was taken from an ISS time lapse, as the panels moved to follow the sun, making their motion practically invisible in real time. Next, I noticed that the astronaut doing an EVA was moving at normal speed, contradicting the motion of the solar panels. A third context clue is that very rarely are astronauts ever filmed on EVA from a fixed camera mounted on the outside of the station. This was more common in the shuttle days, but because they are slowly moving along the station's exterior, they won't remain in frame for very long. Thus, EVAs are generally filmed by cameras mounted on the astronauts' suits. Finally, my suspicion is solidified when I look more closely at the details. The solar panels themselves have a large opaque block between the arrays, which, if we look at the real station, does not match reality. The arrays have between them a long telescoping mechanism that is barely visible as it's formed of thin wires. The Flat Earthers hadn't even taken the effort to key out the insides of the arrays, and instead they replaced it with black nothingness. Lastly, there is no depth of field between the station and the Earth. A camera can't focus on everything at once, meaning if objects in the background are sharply focused, foreground objects must be blurry. If foreground objects are focused, objects behind them must be blurry. That's just how cameras work. There is no pull focus to all, which is what this video presents. So you see, Hans, this is how I determined that this video was, for lack of a better term, CGI. Those are empirical data points that I can use to prove my point. Could you try doing that, Hans? Or are you just going to keep dragging your ass? Look at that. This is coming out of Guinness World Records, Life in the Slow Lane. It just happens to be laying back, like, on a, on a recliner or something. 
Yeah, it's almost like their name is meant to reference one of the seven deadly sins using a word translated from Latin that means without care or something. It's almost like they're called sloths because they act with sloth. That's CGI. That's not a real animal. That's just an animatronic. Look how strange... It's a robot. It looks exactly like these robots. Look, it's like somebody took this and then put a skin over it. It's not a living animal. Why does it look so different? It looks so rigid. And then these ones are super smooth and curvy. Holy shit, Hans. You know there are different species of sloths, right? Sloths are a group of animals, not one specifically. You've got your three-toed sloths, you've got your two-toed sloths, you've got two different species of two-toed sloths, and four species of three-toed sloths. So yeah, some of them look different from others. As to the comparison to the robot, couldn't I just say I slapped a human skin over a robot? What you're describing is a thing that has a torso and four limbs. It looks as much like a sloth as it does a dog or a cat or any other animal. Look at these tree climbing robots, bringing us to number five on the list, koalas. This was a big viral pushed video on YouTube and you can clearly see it's CGI. That's not a real animal. There's a koala in that image? Which pixel is it? Fuck me, Hans, there's more than one picture of a koala out there, but you chose one that's a 144p screenshot of a YouTube video. You're showing your hand just a little too much. This video is just obvious CGI, and yeah, koalas are a fake animal. That's why these look like really bad puppets made of wool. Koalas are a bit, people from Australia gatekeep this so bad. They're, there's big time YouTube alleged truthers that they refuse to admit that, that these are just stuffed. Gee, I can't imagine why people from Australia would be so vocal about an animal literally only found in Australia. I also love his logic of they won't admit that this is fake because I can very easily uno reverse card that shit and say you won't admit you're wrong about it being fake. Like, imagine Hans doing a live stream with a guy from Australia who's holding a koala in his damn lap, and Hans sitting there going, You're just gatekeeping. Get that puppet off screen. Even though it's clear that they're stuffed. Giving you the one eye. Koalas are a hoax. If you go look at photos of koalas, their, their hands are just totally rigid. They don't grip objects. They just have, like, flat pancake hands. Literally the first photo of a koala on Wikipedia shows it gripping a tree trunk with its hands. Also, I searched YouTube for 0.3 seconds for the words koala grabs. This was the first result. Oh, sorry, Hans, you said photo. I guess you're right, koala's hands don't move in photos. Because they're photos. And nothing moves. Because, because it's a photo. Anyways, this video is more about making this list, the top 10 list. I don't want to get into any one specific thing too much. There was this this viral koalas in the car, and everybody could tell that they were stuffed. They were like, they're not moving. One of them like barely twitches, and everybody's like, no, 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 look at that one, it barely twitches. <laughs> they're all alive. I don't want to get into it, proceeds to get into it. Anyway, it took a lot of work to actually find this specific video of koalas in the car. What Hans failed to mention is the context of this video. This was during the Australian wildfires that raged across the country in 2019 to early 2020. The person filming had rescued the koalas who had been stranded and trapped in the blaze. So, of course they're not moving. They're scared, they're hurt, probably hungry and thirsty, and completely baffled as of the situation they found themselves in. Also, Hans appears to be lying when he says that people cried hoax when they saw this video. The only copy I could find of it is on Bored Panda, and while the article has public comments, I could find none claiming fakery. Aside from all that, how does a video of half a dozen traumatized animals not moving negate all the videos in which they do move? Uh, that one just had a little bit of battery left, I guess. Enough to do a little ear twitch. But look, they're dead. They're taxidermy. It's taxidermy. It's a big taxidermy hoax. Yeah, about them being dead. The article specifically mentions that the rescuers had de-euthanized almost half of the koalas they rescued as their burns were simply too severe. So, there's a good possibility that a few of those koalas are dead or dying. Doesn't make them not real. Anyway, Hans is exhausting and we're only 8 minutes in. I hate to break another video into parts, but I'm sure nobody wants a full, unbroken hour of me shouting at my monitor. Unless... unless you guys do want that. We'll be back soon anyway. Thanks for watching, everyone.
If you enjoy this content, consider hitting the subscribe button. If you really enjoy this content, consider donating on Patreon, becoming a member, buying some of my books on Amazon, or buying some of my merch. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you over the curve, Space Cowboys.